Okay, today I'm going to be making a video that I have needed to make for probably years now. This is the sound that you hear coming through the speakers on YouTube. Unless, of course, it's one of my amp vids or one of the 2007 vids with the Digitech GNX1. This is the mysterious Behringer VAMP Pro rack mount amp modeling processor thing that I've had for since 2004 paid hundred and forty four dollars for it on eBay in 2004 to replace my uh, Boss ME33 that the cats peed on and destroyed. I wanted a rack mount because I wanted to sit it on my desk and not down by my feet so if the cats peed on anything it would just be a box of switches and nothing more. Looking at it up close you have controls for power, gain, volume, low, mid, and high and the high knob is a presence knob if you hit the tap tempo button over here and hold it in while you turn it you've got this right here this little selector selects all your different amplifiers you got everything you got a couple different ones on here and you can see even the little grayed out ones it's got things like uh, several V amp specific channels that are sort of I don't know, it kind of reminds me of my Bagheera, but not nearly as uh, tube-like in quality. you got Fuzzbox, which is sort of a Jimi Hendrix sound. Custom High Gain, which is sort of an Eddie Van Halen thing. Modern High Gain, your new metal channel. British High Gain, Marshall JCM 800. you got Tweed Combo, which is like a Fender Champ. Classic Clean. you know, got a Bare Tube Preamp, which I love using for clean tones, especially with the Jagstang. Right over here, I've got the controls for changing patches. You got 25 banks of five patches, and you select the patches using the buttons up here, like A, B, C, D, E, and whatnot. And that's pretty much uh, how you control the patch bay. You got a tuner right here, which you can use to tune your guitar. I use the tuner mostly for saying intonation. Or here you got your effects knob, which is rotary, tremolo, flanger chorus, phaser, auto walk, com and compressor, plus echo, delay, and ping pong. Knob for your reverb. Knob for the effects levels, again, tap tempo to control other parameters. And a master volume knob, which is like the only real, like, 180 degree pot in the entire in the entire thing and then you have this line in button which works well as a mute button and of course I run this uh, into my computer using a 1 4th inch phono adapter on a smaller phono plug that runs to the line in on the computer let's go look at the back panel now we're going to look at the back panel of the V amp granted it's a little washed out I'm using a neon bulb lamp to control the bright control the brightness around here and I'm trying to do all this by myself so it's kind of difficult on the back here first off way down here you have your essential power jack it's got a pull out type fuse holder under here so if you blew, blow the mains fuse on the V amp you could just uh, pull a screwdriver under here in here and it just pries straight out and pulls the fuse out right here is your MIDI input and output I'll discuss more of this later probably in part two uh, where I'll show you how to hook this up to your computer this is a uh, word clock for your MIDI I don't really know what to use this for neither the AES or EBU but you also have an S slash PDIF 24 bit out input output on it over here is a uh, analog unbalanced line out you have post DSP insert left right which is return in and send out analog line outputs unbalanced left and right two ultra G 4x12 cab sim dealies these use the I forget the term for these connectors AUX or something like that they're basically microphone cables. You have a ground lift button right here to reduce noise, which just popped off. Not like that really matters to me because I hardly ever have problems with. Well, I hardly ever have problems with my ground. 
on this thing. And then right over here you have the post DSP insert, which basically puts effects after the uh, digital sound processing. So yeah, that's pretty much the back of this thing. Now I'll show you how to hook up cables. Okay. Now for the fun part, hooking this thing up to your computer so you can use the software. What you need, um, well, one type of way of hooking it up is using the old school DIN 5 joystick MIDI port. Uh, this card right here is a Sound Blaster Live 5 to 1 out of my old gem computer that I used to make videos a few years back. Exact same card. All those bits and bytes were passing through. This yellow plug here is what used to be used for uh, computer joysticks and for MIDI control. Here's the connector for it right here. It's a DIN 5 or D, D, DB15 style plug and it just plugs into this yellow port right here. The ones that go into the V-amp are DIN 5 plugs like this. Basically they look just like your old large AT keyboard cable which I have plenty of those sitting around here too as you might have guessed considering all my vintage computer stuff but since my new computer over here has completely done away with the old school of uh, DB15 ports I got this new thing to solve my problem it's a EMU XMIDI 1 to 1 USB MIDI interface um, and I'll show you how to hook that up to your Behringer V-amp uh, the key thing to look for on these, there are some companies that make like a chintzy adapter cable thing. I don't trust those. I look for something with something like this on it. It looks like it's actually got a functional bit of hardware in it. And there's some sort of chip that actually is the USB to MIDI interface. And it basically translates between MIDI and USB. And it basically just seamlessly uses USB interface to control MIDI devices and it just looks to your computer like a regular old MIDI port anyway let's get this thing out of the package just got it today haven't even opened the box yet first things first you want to connect this to a USB port like this one up front of my computer right here but I'll just use one of the ones in the back <laughs> it's alive time to install the drivers Actually, before I install the drivers, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to plug this into the V-amp first. What you do first off is you match up the inputs with the outputs on the plugs. What this means is basically MIDI in goes to the plug marked MIDI out, aka in the case of the EMU plug, the black plug. And that just goes into the MIDI output right here. The gray one right here goes into your MIDI input port right here or MIDI out through there you go now it's time to plug in the power and hook up my other cables and then do a nice screenshot on how to install the drivers